so for those of you who've at least chosen to give the extension question a go welcome back and I'm glad you've actually decided to give this a go so here's our question then calculate the ratio between the de Broglie wavelength of an electron and the circumference of orbit in a hydrogen atom as usual pause the video give it a go and then come back once you've tried it and I'll go through the answer for you Here we go then. What we've been asked for is the ratio between lambda the de Broglie wavelength and 2 pi r, which is the circumference of the orbit. Now, just a little bit of a note really concerning this word here, concerning the word ratio. In maths previously, you've been taught this idea that a ratio is a number and a colon and another number in physics that's not how we do it in any way shape or form we are fortunately only one stroke of the pen away from being correct and here it comes the word ratio we take to mean divided by so when we're looking at the ratio between two different things we're looking at one thing divided by the other here it's the de Broglie wavelength divided by the circumference. Now, if we write that better, and something that looks more familiar to us, lambda over 2 pi r like that, is exactly how we should be writing um, this idea of ratio. Now, for de Broglie wavelength, if we remember back to last year, the wavelength is Planck's constant divided by the momentum, or Planck's constant divided by mv. If we plug that into our equation then, we have h over mv divided by 2 pi r. And if we tidy that up, because at the moment that looks quite nasty, h divided by 2 pi r times m times v. Now at that point we can start to plug our numbers in. So Planck's constant then. 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34 divided by 2 pi the radius from last lesson was 53 times 10 to the minus 12 meters the mass of an electron 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 and our velocity from last lesson was 2.18 times 10 to the 6 meters per second now if we were to plug all of that into my calculator what my calculator tells me is 1.00249662 and obviously it will keep on going like that obviously i'm not going to leave my answer like that but we can see that at least to three significant figures this answer is basically just one in other words the de Broglie wavelength of an electron is exactly the same as the circumference of orbit of a hydrogen atom now that result in itself if you got one brilliant well done for getting that but that result in itself is actually quite fundamental to us in quantum physics the idea that as our electron orbits around our hydrogen atom, because it's moving, and if we treat it as a wave, its wavelength is exactly the same as the circumference. In other words, its wavelength is exactly the same as how far it's traveling. If you now take this idea of electron shells that we spent quite a long time uh, last year trying to get you out of the habit of thinking of, the idea of electron shells that they use in chemistry, quite a lot this hopefully now starts to give you an idea of what is the reality of what's going on in these energy levels our electron if it does have one wavelength for its circumference that will be our ground state for the electron as you go higher up the energy levels we can already start to imagine in the ground state which is sometimes called n is equal to 1, 
the wavelength and the circumference are exactly the same so lambda is equal to 2 pi r when we go to the next excited state n equals 2 our circumference now becomes twice the wavelength uh, next excited state 2 pi r is going to be three times the wavelength etc etc so whatever happens in our atom our electrons that are orbiting must be some integer multiple of the de Broglie wavelength as it's orbiting in that atom That's probably a little bit beyond A level, if we're being brutally honest. But once again, for those of you who've come in for this extension question, I hope you've got something useful out of that and maybe learnt something and seen a little bit more of an insight into a couple of different areas of physics that we're trying to teach you over these couple of years.